Would you like to go home on the same day that you had your hip replacement? You might be surprised to learn that it's quite common in the US where there are dedicated ambulatory surgery centres that do thousands of cases every year. Why don't we do the same in the UK? Keep watching and I'll tell you all about it. When I first started doing hip surgery in the old days, most patients would stay in hospital for at least a week. We'd bring them in the night before so that they could settle in and be ready for surgery the next day. Even longer ago, patients might stay in hospital for about three weeks. Can you believe it? They'd often be in bed rest for a week, which sounds extraordinary. Most patients leave hospital between two and three weeks after the operation has been performed. And by then, some will be walking independently. If both hips have been done on the same occasion, walking is permitted as soon as the wounds have healed and the patient goes home about four or five weeks post-operatively. These days, of course, we usually get you up on the day of surgery and most people go home within a day or two. How has this happened? Well, over the years, things have changed a lot. Take anaesthetics, for instance. Nowadays, most hip replacements are done with spinal anaesthesia instead of a general anaesthetic or a GA. Spinals give fantastic pain relief for several hours after surgery and you don't get the terrible hangover that a GA can give you. Having a spinal means that your normal physiology, circulation, breathing and kidney function aren't disturbed too much as they would be with a GA. The risk of having a deep vein thrombosis is reduced and you don't need so many powerful painkillers that can make you feel nauseated. We're much better these days at managing the problems such as high blood pressure, kidney disease and diabetes that can cause complications. So the risk of these serious complications is a lot less than it used to be. So what about the surgery itself? Well, we've certainly got better at doing it, so it's quicker and less traumatic than it used to be. So why not go home on the same day as your operation? Well, for increasing numbers of people, this is an option, even here in the UK. Obviously, it's not for everyone. If you've got a lot of medical problems or your mobility isn't great, you're going to need to be looked after for a bit longer. You need to have good support at home, which is of course difficult for a lot of older people who might be living on their own. Careful preoperative selection and counselling are really important so that you and we know exactly what to expect. The team looking after you has to be clear and consistent so that everybody knows exactly what to do at every stage of your treatment. What about the results? Well, lots of studies show that the outcomes are very similar to the longer lengths of stay. So why is it different in the US? Well, their healthcare system is very different to the NHS. Patients often have to spend tens of thousands of dollars for surgery, even if they have health insurance. Ambulatory surgery centres charge a lot less than an inpatient hospital because their overheads are less. And that's a big factor in why they're so popular. Will we see them in the UK? I think it's inevitable. We have a rapidly ageing population and the NHS clearly can't keep up, despite the hundreds of billions of pounds spent on it every year. We must treat more people more quickly and better. When I look at my own practice, a lot of my patients are, let's say, in their senior years. Many of them live on their own and they want to be looked after in a lovely private hospital where everything is taken care of. I think the ideal setup is going to be an ambulatory surgery centre working within an existing hospital, working together for the benefit of everybody. What do you think? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching. See you all again next time.